Excuse me, doctor, but what is impossible? What is impossible, doctor? Mononuclear reproduction. Oh, doctor. Cloning. What if I were to tell you that I could take a scraping of skin from your finger and create another Ezra Lieberman? I would tell you not to waste your time or my finger. Anyway, that is cloning. It was first done with plants. A cutting taken from a plant and transplanted grew to be the exact duplicate of the donor plant. Now we are doing the same thing with laboratory animals. You mean you can produce an animal from itself? We take the unfertilized egg of an ovulating female and destroy all of its genes and chromosomes. We then implant the nucleus of the donor cell, which could be taken from a blood sample or even a skin scraping. That cell, with its genetic material intact, eventually becomes an embryo and is born as a living creature. Without parents. Well, it has no father because the egg was never fertilized, no mother because its genetic code comes from another being. Can you follow that? And this uh, creature is an exact duplicate of itself? Oh, doctor, how can that be? Come along. Our experiments began with the simplest of animals, shrimps and frogs, animals in which the female's eggs are fertilized externally. Then we moved on to mammals. We tried several laboratory animals and found the rabbit most convenient. They had to develop instruments which could accomplish the operation and a whole micro-injection system. I'll show you how it's done. Here we are removing the eggs of a white rabbit from the fallopian tubes. Now, you see the egg under a microscope. I've brought the point of an ordinary sewing needle into view to give an idea of size. They are that small? Most mammal eggs are about that size. Including human eggs? Yes. The next step is to destroy the egg nucleus with ultraviolet light so that none of its genetic makeup remains. Now, you see an egg from a white rabbit ready to be injected with the blood cell from a black rabbit donor. With the injection of the pet, one of the blood cells is sucked up and then injected into the egg. After a few hours, the eggs in culture divide and are ready to be put back into the female. There they grow into embryos, which in a month's time, the normal gestation period, they will become baby rabbits. In this instance, a black litter from a white mother and their black color proves that they have been cloned from the blood cell of a black rabbit. But isn't it difficult to get the egg back into the female? Transferring the eggs isn't a problem. We do that all the time with laboratory animals. The really tricky part is the microsurgery getting the donor cell into the egg. You are lucky if one in ten survives. And this can be done with humans? If the surgical technique were precise enough. It's monstrous, Doctor. Why? Wouldn't you want to live in a world full of Mozarts and Picassos? Of course, it's only a dream. Not only would you have to reproduce the genetic code of the donor, but the environmental background as well. Is Mengele trying to reproduce himself? No. He has brown eyes and he comes from a very wealthy family. 
let's examine the family background of the donor. His father is 65 years old, a civil servant. The mother is 42, you said. She dotes on the child. The boy is pale, dark hair, blue eyes, spoilt. Right? Now, Mengele would certainly know Every social and environmental detail would have to be reproduced. Thus, if the parents were divorced when the boy was 10, this would have to be arranged. Dr. Brückner, the one who is cloned, the donor, he has to be alive, doesn't he? Not necessarily. Individual cells taken from a donor can be preserved indefinitely. With a sample of Mozart's blood, and the women. Someone with the skill and the equipment could breed a few hundred baby Mozarts. My God. If it's really been done, would I give to see one of those boys? Aliba man! Not Mozart, Doctor. Not Picasso. Not a genius who would enrich the world. But a lonely little boy with a domineering father, a customs officer who was 52 when he was born, and an affectionate, doting mother who was 29. The father died at 65 when the boy was nearly 14. Adolf 